It's your virtual host, thank you again. And here I am at the Wenatchee Valley Museum, and I want to tell you about this machine. Also happens to be 100 years old, 1920. But that's all I really know about it. I think it's an apple sorter. If only there was somebody else here who could tell me about it. Hi, oh, Matthew. Well, hi then. <laughs> She's surely really good at that time traveling, isn't she? Can you tell me about this machine? Sure, you are absolutely right. It was built and used in the 1920s. It was only used for a short amount of time. And I'm gonna see if you can figure that out. Oh. So, what this is, is it, it has an apple dumping station. So what do you think happened right here? Well, I think people would dump apples there. Yeah, is there a basket of apples there that you could dump? There happens to be a basket of apples here that I can dump. All right. Dump them on my conveyor belt, please. Okay. You'd have to be careful so you didn't bruise it. That's absolutely right. And further down, you will hear more about bruising. Okay. So after they came right from that, they were picked from the trees, apple pickers would pick them, they would bring them in big baskets or crates, dump them onto the dumping table, and then this conveyor belt, this is that this moves along. So it, you know, it would move the apples along when I turn it on. Oh, um, oh this whole turn, thing can yes, still turn on? on? Yes, can still turn, turn on. So wow. I am going to show you that in just a minute. But first of all, I want to tell you more about what it is it's doing. Sure. So then these apples go into this. This is called the apple wiper. What do you think an apple wiper does? I bet it wipes the apples. Very good, Matthew. It does wipe the apples. You can see that it has rope and it has pieces of cloth. What do you think that is being wiped off of the apples? Boy, a bad disposition. Um, bad something. Oh, uh, bugs? So, right, so hey, there could still be bugs on there, but do you know that before the 1920s, they were using this lead arsenic, which is poisonous to people. And they were, they were picking the apples and selling them to the consumer. And the consumer had to make sure that they wiped the apples off before they ate them. Oh, is that why people still shine them on their shirts? Absolutely. People Even still do that. no arsenic. Huh? That's what I do. Good. So yes. this would clean all the arsenic off the apples? Yeah, so the apples then would move to this conveyor belt. This conveyor belt, women would be sitting here, picking up the apples, looking at them, finding a bruised apple, right? Uh -huh. Maybe Matthew wasn't very careful about putting the apples, dumping them into the apple dumper. I sure tried to be. I know. Um, but some people weren't. Sometimes they did get bruises. Sometimes, even though they used lead arsenic, they could still have a wormhole in it. And, um, and so what they would do was the good apples, they would go along in, they would put the, uh, the good apples along this conveyor belt. The bad apples would go along the outside conveyor belt. And those would drop into a hole in the table. And the bucket, a bucket would be underneath. And a little boy, about six, seven, or eight years old, his job in the apple industry would be to pick up the full buckets, um, trade it off for an empty bucket, and take those buckets and either feed the pigs or maybe even take those apples and uh, crush them into apple juice. Wow, because, you know, pigs don't actually mind if there's worms in their apples. Right. All right, and then this machine here, this is a catapult machine. A catapult? Yes, do you know what a catapult machine is? In fact, yes, in one of our videos, I got to learn how to make one. Awesome, very good. Yes, and this is, this is a catapult, and so it throws things, right? Uh -huh. At the same force. So, are all apples the same sizes? No, not at all. No. Are our apples the same sizes? Well, your apples, they happen to be yes, the same size. Yes, these apples are the same size. So we put weights in them. These are not real apples. I get that question all the time. But these are not real apples. These are fake apples with weights in them. And uh, because not all apples are the same. So a heavy apple, there's a heavy one, uh -huh. that would wow. represent what kind of apple? A big uh -huh. apple or a little apple? 
big apple. A big apple. And the lighter apples would represent? Little apple. A little apple, right? Because we all want the same size apple. If you got, and they're still like that today, if you buy a bag of apples, all the apples are going to be the same size. Because, Matthew, if you had an apple and your brother had an apple, and if his apple was bigger than yours, would you be upset? I would be pretty sad if he had a bigger apple than me. Yes. So that's what we end up doing. So we are going to, dip, we're going to size these by putting them in a catapult. You want to see how that works? Absolutely. All right. So this is the heavy apple, the big apple. This is the small apple, the lighter apple. And we're going to see which one goes further. Well, I'll bet you the little apple goes a lot farther than the big apple. Let's see if Matthew is right. Woo! All right, Matthew, go check. Oh, go hey. find out if the lighter apple is the furthest away. It is. And the heaviest apple? Is much closer. All right. Would you like to see how this whole thing starts? Absolutely. Don't then, you want to see the whole thing? And then remember my question. Why was this machine only used for a short amount of time, less than a year? Well, I can't wait to find out. Well, back here you can see right up inside, you can see the way that the apples are moving along. All of that arsenic is taken off. And the ropes that are tied around these small, thin logs. And it's just pushing them right along down the cleaning line. Thank you. 